So you've got a Mercedes-Benz and you're interested in upgrading your original command screen to something that's going to be more modern and give you more features and functionality and also be a bigger display that's really going to freshen up the interior of your car. Now maybe you want to make this upgrade, but you don't necessarily want to change out your entire car and replace it with something newer. Well, if that's what you're looking for, then the DMP Android command screen is exactly what you need. This is it. This is the newest DMP Android command screen, and we've got the Android 11 operating system, which was recently upgraded from the Android 10 system. Now with this new DMP Android screen, you're gonna have all of the latest features, including Apple CarPlay, the ability to download apps, the ability to stream and watch movies and TV shows. You can get on YouTube, on video games, and you have the ability to still use your factory command knob to control your screen, as well as the factory steering wheel controls like the volume. Now keep in mind, you can also choose the size of the screen. So if you want the big 12.3 inch screen like we have, or maybe you want the smaller 10 and a quarter inch screen you can choose either one we're going to dive into all of those features right now but keep in mind with this new android 11 operating system if you do have the older android 10 you can upgrade to the newer operating system without actually changing out the screen however the hardware isn't going to be quite the same as it is in the newer screens so if you are interested in upgrading always feel free to reach out to us and with that being said let's dive into these new features now starting it off, we have the home page of the Android screen. This is where we access all the apps and I'm gonna go through each icon here, starting off with navigation. So see it opens up Google Maps here, but you can program that icon to open up whatever mapping service you want, whether you like Waze or Google, whatever it may be. Now here, just to show you quickly, it is very responsive, it's very quick. You see it, it really is a good source of navigation if you do rather use the big screen rather than something like a phone. Now next step, we have video here. Here you can watch any videos that you download onto your screen. It has that nice full screen projection, so it really takes up the whole screen and takes advantage of it gives a nice 1080p quality picture now here we have the apple carplay apple carplay when i click on that music app it opens right up again very responsive you can see you have all your navigation music you can make calls take text messages and like i said it's very responsive i'll type something straight into my phone which is really more convenient easier for me to type on it's a lot quicker go ahead and hit directions i'll map them and then it just shows up on that big screen so it's a lot easier to read and have that navigation coming through the car speakers now remember if you click on that music app you can also program it to open up something like YouTube music if you don't want Apple CarPlay to open up when you hit that music icon on your home page you can do Spotify or Apple music or YouTube music whatever it may be now I'm just gonna take you to the apps here real quick into that Google Play Store and you see we have some video games you can download uh, you got a ton of stuff really you get a lot of utility from the Google Play Store you got your Spotify Instagram you've got further down cash app TikTok, uber really any apps that you can normally get on your phone you can really get on the screen so a lot of utility going through there and just to take you back real quick i'll show you youtube uh, it does open up quickly uh, it's very responsive again the touch screen is something like that of a new iphone or android so everything feels crisp and smooth it's not really laggy it doesn't have input delay and boom the videos load quick again the quality of the picture you get that 1080p so it's high High resolution uh, now just to show you real quick I'm gonna open up the maps that we just had and you can do what we call uh, the dual screen or split screen mode where we've got the navigation for example on one side and then we can also put that YouTube video we were just watching on another side so if you've got a passenger on a long road trip maybe they want to watch a movie or TV show while you're navigating this is the perfect way of doing that works seamlessly and again that split screen mode will work with any app so it's not just maps and video you can do it with anything coming back here we're going to the next icon which is telephone 
Now on the telephone, this is where you're gonna connect your phone to play Bluetooth music. It'll show you what song is playing. You got your contacts, your phone calls, all the basic features there. Moving into the NTG menu here, this is the original car display. So if you ever wanna go back to the original Mercedes homepage, mess with a setting, you know, do something there. So you still can use that command knob. You're not gonna lose that. And same with the volume on the steering wheel. Now here we have the gauges. Gauges are just gonna be a little cosmetic thing. It, you know, it's gonna show you the speedometer, it's gonna show you the RPMs, and you can change the colors to match the interior a little bit more. Uh, down at the bottom, you see we have our temperature and also our seat belt reading. If someone doesn't have a seat belt on, it will display that. Uh, moving on, we have phone link. We're gonna skip over that, it just mirrors your phone. Here we have the file explorer. This is if you plug in a USB, you can mess with the files there. Here we have our Adas app. This is if you do install another rear view camera or something like aftermarket you can manage it and here of course we have our settings uh, now on the screen you got a lot of settings you can change the boot up logos you can change the time display um, you know the way that your NTG menu looks you got a lot of settings that you can mess with there EQ settings all sorts of things now here on the Android 11 screens this is how the display will normally look, but you can also change the theme. So you see here, we have a bunch of different colors we can choose from. If we wanna have purple, maybe we wanna have this yellow goldish look, a lighter blue, uh, this burgundy red. You've also got your gray finish. You got a lighter purple color here, and then you've got some map background like this as well. So you got a lot of themes you can choose from. And then once you go to the NTG menu I just showed you, um, this Android 11 does have a more modern display. That speedometer on the right is more aesthetically pleasing. And another new feature that has also been added, you can do Apple CarPlay with a wire, a USB. You don't need to have it wireless. So if you've got a passenger that wants to plug in, it's a lot easier than going with the whole wireless route and, and syncing up. And then of course, the hardware inside the new screen more advanced it's going to be faster more processing more storage everything is going to be bigger now to get your order placed you head over to our website accessoryinternational.com and you're going to go into the hard parts tab on the top here and scroll all the way down to where we see DMP car design we're going to go ahead and click that now once we do you see the first product here is the DMP Android command screen for the Mercedes we're going to go ahead and click that now first we see you want to select your Mercedes-Benz generation. We have the C-Class, it's a C350, it's a 2012 model, and it is the W204 facelift. So we'll go ahead and choose that, and you want to choose yours accordingly to get the right screen for yourself. Now for the NTG version, we're going to scroll down here and until we get to this area where we see how to differentiate the Mercedes-Benz NTG version. You see this is the NTG 4.0 above and we don't have any of these frames. Uh, our dash is going to be different. We get down to this one and you see it does have the clear button with that full chrome frame and that is what we have. So we know we have the NTG 4.5 slash 4.7. So now we'll head back up to the top. We'll go ahead and choose that accordingly. You'll want to go ahead and do that for your car as well. Now, we do like the 12.3 inch screen size, that Tesla style type of deal, so we'll go ahead and select that. The steering wheel is on the left-hand side, and then this additional information will fill in. I've got the C350, the model year is a 2012, and the VIN number, you'll just wanna go ahead and put yours in. Now, we can add that to our basket, and once we're there, we'll go ahead and have that checkout button on the bottom right, the secure checkout, we'll select that, and then we can check out as a guest or you can create an account with your information and place your order from there. So there you have it. This is the latest DMP Android command screen. If you want the new features, all the functionality and that bigger display to really freshen up the interior of your car, this is the answer. Now guys, here at Accessories International, we are a dealer based in the United States. We are currently sitting here in Miami, Florida, and we really do provide that before and after sales support. So if you have any questions when you're placing your orders, or maybe you already placed your order and you have questions about customizing your boot logo, or you wanna upgrade from your new Android syst uh, operating system to the newer one that's been recently released, we have got you covered on all of that. Always feel free to give us a call or shoot us a message and we're more than happy to help. Now, thanks again for tuning into the video today. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're rolling out a lot of content, a lot of tips and tricks on how to get your screens running optimally. So be sure to subscribe for all of that new stuff coming out. Thanks again for tuning in and we will see you next time.